Hello and welcome to the assembly. I am Hanya and today we're going to be doing an introduction to image processing in OpenCV in Python. Let's start by learning how to open a simple image using OpenCV first. So, we saw that this code just simply displays the image on the screen. The cv2.imread function essentially just um, reads the image from our folder file we have over here. And then the cv2.imshow function creates a GUI window that displays an image from the image array for the user to, to see. Then once we have it on the window, we want it to be held for a certain amount of time. So we use the wait key here and zero essentially means that until the program terminates. And then after we have our image on the screen, once the program terminates, we delete all the windows from or destroy all the windows that we have created. Color space is a way to generally represent the color channels that are present in an image and that gives the image a particular hue. There are several different color spaces that you could work with and each has its own significance. Generally, RGB is the default color space. However, OpenCV actually stores color in the BGR format. Let us write the code to see how the colors can be segregated and can be visible. So we saw that we generally read the image the same way using the imread function and then used the cv2.split function that divided the colors into the BGR um, color space as we mentioned before and then if you simply just refer to each of those color spaces using the variable that you provided it with, we had a different color space. Now let's see how we could find the corners of significant objects on a on a variety of shapes or on a picture using uh, matplotlib as well as numpy module. Being introduced to a bunch of new functions, we start with our general reading function that reads our image that is shapes over here, which is essentially a bunch of different shapes we have on our image that we want to detect the corners of. Then we can use a convert color function that converts any image into a grayscale image by using the parameter cv2.color to bgr to grayscale because we always stay in the bgr color scheme. Then um, we use this um, OpenCV function called good features to track to detect the corners of our shapes on the grayscale image. And then we round off these corners using the numpy um, modules uh, function that is in zero. And we collect a array of corners that we have on our image. We then iterate through these corners and generate the X and Y values using the Ravel function and then create circles on these 
on the image using the x and y coordinates and then use the matplotlib functions to um, show them on the screen. So we can see how our code runs over here by running the code. And here we see that our object has been put into a plot sheet and the corners of our shapes have been marked with a red color except for our overlapping circle as we know they have infinite edges or corners so that wouldn't be shown properly and I specifically wanted to show that in this tutorial and we have the rest of them that shows it properly however we can see that over here our mouse does show us the coordinates because we are using the matplotlib live module functions but how can we do that without using the matplot functions and just have it print on the screen so let's look into it how we want our program to run so here we have our cat image and once we press on the screen we have our coordinates printed out in red as well as printed out here out on the console so let's have a quick rundown of the code that we just wrote we have a function called click event which checks if the event that is performed by the user's mouse is is equal to the left having the left button down and then we print the coordinates of the x and y x and y coordinates of your mouse from the event then we specify the attributes that we want to for our text that we put on the image as the font the font size the coordinates the color and the width and then we have this all the same on the put text function where we have our string of x so we convert our x and y coordinates into strings and then put this text onto the image and then we essentially just show the image again other than calling the function when it comes to that we just have our cat image that's been read it's shown on the screen then we use the set mouse callback function that shows the image and then calls the click event image so in the case that we do click the left button down the coordinates pop up on the screen we wait for it as we did before and then we destroy all the windows thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe and to keep up with our content, follow us on our social media platforms.